Add mixtures for ready mix concrete. Hello everyone. Welcome to Volume Concrete LLC. Learn about concrete and the latest advancements in the industry. Today's tutorial will explain the chemicals or add mixtures used in ready mix concrete and why they are important. Add mixtures for concrete play a crucial role in the behavior of concrete. These admixtures are crucial for short-term and long-term efficiencies in the concrete. The following five admixtures are today's focus. Starting with air entrainment admixtures, water reducing admixtures, thigh range water reducing admixtures followed by retarders or retarding agents, and the opposing effect by using accelerator admixtures. Air entrainment or entraining is done on purpose to put some baby microscopic bubbles in the concrete. Why would anyone want to put bubbles in the concrete? It makes total sense for cold weather because the bubbles act as an insulator against the freeze-thaw effect. Concrete that will be exposed to freezing temperatures needs to have an air content around 4% up to 7%, depending on certain criteria such as aggregate size and location in the hemisphere. The microscopic bubbles produced from air entrainment admixtures are part of the ASTM C260 specifications if you want to dive deeper. Pro tip. Avoid using air entrainment if you plan on a hard trowel finish or interior placements where the concrete is not exposed to freezing temperatures. Never underestimate the importance of having water reducer in concrete. Water reducer, admixtures are critical to the strength of the concrete. Not only do they add strength, they are crucial to lowering the amount of water used in the mix design. When you add more water to concrete, you are raising the water to cement ratio, which leads to a decrease in strength and durability. If you want a product that is strong and long lasting, water reducer is that key component. Next, we have high range water reducers, also known as super plasticizers. These admixtures drastically reduce water content with minimal amounts. Usually they are added to the mixer truck at the job site to achieve the right concrete slump. For those in the hot climate, they developed an admixture class called retarders. Retarders help slow down the chemical reaction in ready mix concrete, giving the contractors more time to place and finish the concrete. Hot weather can be detrimental to concrete placement if not done properly. Use retarders in your concrete. If you plan on the job not going very quickly, they can be a cheap insurance per se. Check out ASTM C 494 for more in-depth knowledge. On to the last item in today's tutorial about chemical admixtures for ready mix concrete. Accelerators can be found under the ASTM C 494 type C and E. Accelerators in concrete help speed up the chemical reaction and add heat to the mix. Caution should be used when using accelerators, especially when paired with hot water. During the cold months, pouring concrete outside can be tricky if the temperatures are low or near freezing. Great caution should be taken to ensure that freshly placed concrete doesn't freeze. Should that happen, the concrete will literally turn the water into crystals and the concrete will not set properly. It will basically fail. We don't want that to happen. Volume Concrete LLC uses a non-chloride accelerator in our mix designs along with hot water in colder months. Pro tip, to prevent rust and corrosion, avoid using calcium chloride-based accelerators if your project involves metal or rebar.